friends, welcome back to Cal. I'm Miss Sarah. And I'm Miss Tina. And Miss Nancy is back. Yay! Yay. Hi. <laughs> so let's get started with a prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this week we've passed through, for the warm sunshine, for maybe some cicadas, depending on where you are. We thank you that you can do such odd things like that. that have bugs that sleep for 17 years and wake up and show what they do. We pray that you'll open our hearts and minds to learn more about you today. Amen. 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 So it almost looks normal in here. Almost. Yeah, as normal as any room that we're in can be. I didn't say we look normal. Yeah. But that's true. <laughs> but you know, we've got a little bit of odd. I, I, I want to build a campfire. You want to build a campfire? I want to build a campfire. It's 90 degrees outside. You want to build a campfire? I want to build a campfire. Yeah. But but we're inside. We can't it's, do that inside. We might set the room on fire. Yeah, it's, it's just a little one. It, uh, you know. And and we could have s'mores. We could have some s'mores. I've got the chocolate. I like chocolate. And, and a great graham crackers. But, but I still think a fire inside is a really bad idea. Any fire, any size. Okay. Okay, I mean, I guess, you know, we don't have a fireplace or something to hold it in, even though we have a candle, but... Right, right. All right. That's a candle, though. Yeah. You want to do your s'more with a candle? Let's see. Mm -hmm. It might take a while. Yeah, it's going to take, take a while. <laughs> it might take a while. All right. I'll... So, so, beyond the s'more part, why do you want to play with fire anyway? Well, today is Pentecost. Okay. And there was fire at Pentecost. So yes. So we could, and it was inside. They were inside, and, and there was fire. It, that was different. That was that was that was more than a little different. Let's uh, let's read about it in our Sparkhouse Bible. Let's let's get her set straight. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm pulling out matches. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Let's get Miss Sarah straight. Okay, let's see. The Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching him, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus promised. The disciples began to speak in different languages, languages they'd never learned. Stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter stood up. I want to tell you about Jesus. He reminded everyone what Jesus taught them. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's Spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently, guided by God's Spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. Okay. That kind of, not like that wasn't this kind of fire. Not that kind of fire. Mm -hmm. It's more like, more like this kind of fire. Like, yes, this kind of fire. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty sure I'm still speaking English. I don't, I don't think I'm speaking, I can speak another language yet. <laughs> Um, maybe we need the wind. Maybe. Uh, I got a fan. <laughs> See if that'll... Oh, it's a little toasty in here. Let's ah, see. okay. <laughs> Still, yeah. Nothing. Still nothing. Nothing new here. I mean, I remember some of the things I learned in school. I took German in high school. The gate. Mm -hmm. See. Um, yeah. Hi, you say bonjour, uh, hola, hola. I may be sad enough to know me how. All right. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see, I could say vesela colada. You want a soda? <laughs> Merry Christmas in Bulgarian. Ah, <laughs> all right. In German, that's Frühlichen Weihnachten. Ah. <laughs> 
So maybe the Holy Spirit thinks we need different gifts rather than language. Maybe. I, I like that idea. I, I hope that's what's going on, that mm -hmm. we're not missing out. I, I, I think we, I'm pretty sure, fairly certain, that's what faith is, is that we still have the Holy Spirit sure. with us. Let's see. That's, so that's, that's good. All right, we're right. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to help us keep doing the things he taught us to do. Um, he wants us to follow the bit of the Holy Spirit that is within us and let it guide us to being the people he wants us to be. Sometimes it might even tell us to sing. Right, Miss Nancy? You got it. All right. <laughs> cakes or a cake as a birthday cake for the church? I really like the kite flying idea. It reminds us of the wind that blew through the room where the disciples were. You can make your own flame hats. Maybe mm -hmm. not quite like these. These I had to run to the craft store, but maybe with some stuff you have at home. We've got the, we'll put the templates up a little later so you can make a little flame hat and might be able to get a chance to get directions for Something as fabulous as fabulous. that, yes, <laughs> up there too. We would love to see you in your red and your flame hats. All right, let's go say a prayer before we go make them. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you on this day of Pentecost, on this day where we get to celebrate the church's very beginnings, where the disciples were able to share your word with the world. We happen to know that that wasn't the only day that that's supposed to happen. And we ask that you would help us to speak with the gifts and the languages and the talents that you've given each of us and share your word in the world and go and make disciples. Uh, 
we ask all these things in your son's precious name. Amen. Amen. Amen.